I will share my experience today. How to save your money and time when repairing these Samsung refrigerator PCB. The fault is identical in all these PCB. And all of them are not repairable. So let's see what the fault is in them. If you face the same problem, you will detect it quickly. This PCB and this other PCB are completely dead because the IPM of these PCBs is short-circuited. So I will only explain them, and I cannot pass electricity through these PCBs, as they are entirely faulty. Now I will switch on this PCB which turns on but does not work. After this, I will tell you which points am I going to check. Then you will quickly be able to know whether the PCB is repairable or not. Now I have turned on the PCB, the red light is also glowing, and the buck converter of this PCB is also ok, which means the electricity generated inside the PCB is fine, which is flowing in the PCB in the form of 5 volts. The IPM of this PCB board is also ok, and there is no issue with it. Its light is constantly glowing, which means this PCB board has a problem because the light needs to glow one time and, after a few seconds, needs to stop glowing in normal condition. When the compressor starts working, then the light glows continuously in this PCB. This PCB and these two other PCBs, which are short-circuited. I can't pass electricity through these two PCBs. The fault is the same, this one PCB works, but these two do not, as the IPM module is short-circuited in these PCB boards. So what is the fault, which is common in all the PCBs and cannot be repaired? It has only one component bad in the PCB, due to which this problem occurs. The microcontroller is defective, but how will I know that the microcontroller is faulty? I will tell you some points for testing the microcontroller. I have already removed this capacitor. These are two points of the capacitor, and this is the third point of the capacitor. I will have to test these capacitors to find the fault in the PCB. How will I test it? Let me explain it to you as well. First, set the multimeter on the continuity mode. When I joined both probes, I could hear the beep sound on the multimeter. Now I will check the presence of a short circuit on these three capacitors I told you about. I have already removed this capacitor here, but I will show you this capacitor on the other PCB. Right now, when I check this capacitor, it has no short circuit, which is why this microcontroller is working fine. But when I check this point where I have already removed the capacitor, I can hear the beep sound on the multimeter, which means this pin in the PCB goes towards pin 11 of the microcontroller. Here we get VSS voltages. This other capacitor is grounded with 12 number pin and working fine, but the 11 number pin is faulty, although we removed the capacitor. This microcontroller is turning on, but other functions are not working. Now when I check this capacitor, I can't hear any beep, that's why it's working fine. These two capacitors and a resistor is installed with the capacitors. Resistor traces goes to the 27 number pin, and the capacitor is attached to the 28 number pin. This capacitor is grounded, and this zero-valued resistor is used for the reference voltages, which are the analog voltages present on the other side of the microcontroller and is grounded. If it short circuits from this point, it will not work either. As I showed you, this point of the capacitor, which is short-circuited, that's why PCB is not functioning further. It means other components of the PCB are okay. Now next, let me show you another PCB and how it works. Here all the capacitors and components are attached, as I removed only one capacitor from the PCB, which I showed you before. Now I will test it and check what result this PCB gives. When I attach the multimeter probes to the capacitor, it shows a short circuit. This is the grounded capacitor, and the other capacitor is VSS means positive voltages. This capacitor is also showing a short circuit. Next, let's check the analog voltage capacitor. This capacitor is also short circuited. This next component is attached with a line wire. As it is a zero resistance, it will show a short circuit. These four points in this PCB are short circuits, that's why the microcontroller is not turning on. Now I have removed the microcontroller from the other PCB and then I check these capacitors. As I told you before, you can check the capacitors without removing the microcontroller. Now when I am checking these capacitors, the multimeter is showing no continuity or beep, 
which means all the capacitors are fine, but the microcontroller was short-circuited. Now, this is a brand new IPM PCB board and is working fine. Now I will test all those points on this PCB and show you that they should not be short-circuited with a good microcontroller. Now this will prove to you that whenever these points are short-circuited, you should have to replace the IPM board immediately. Now, let's test this grounding capacitor, and see it is not short-circuited. The second capacitor is okay, and the third capacitor is also fine. So this way, you can quickly identify the problem in the Samsung Refrigerator IPM PCB board. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.